Welcome Aquarius, I'm Juanita and we are going to be looking at what it is that you need to work on over the next two weeks, okay, using the Sacred Forest Oracle and the Osho Zen Tarot. So, let me just get organised here. Rightio, put those there and away we go. Stag Spirit Leadership Aquarius. Very interesting quite funny because sometimes I get this from this card that um, it, it's like for some of you you've been keeping yourself in the shadows and there's this need to rise up and allow yourself to be seen well actually Aquarius not necessarily allowing yourself to be seen although that is part of it but also allowing your light to shine Hmm, interesting. Wow, opening yourself up, opening yourself up, rising your vibration, okay, so that you can rise up out of the shadows, okay? Becoming receptive um, to the fact that you are a leader. You are a leader. Some of you have a lot of doubt about yourself. There's a lot of... Um, Criticism, internal criticism that goes on for you that needs to be let go of because it is not serving you at all and it's not actually allowing you to step into the truth of who you are, okay? And this is really, really potentially holding you back. Uh, it could be the case for some of you that you have been traveling along this journey and this was where you once were. So I feel like we've got kind of... A bit of a mixture here honestly but um, there's this need to walk away from the things that are no longer serving you and Aquarius I feel like these things are actually within you um, yeah the, and, and these could be old patterns as well that are not serving you old habits that are holding you back okay maple syrup generosity Aquarius, by letting go of the things that don't serve you and stepping into your power and shining your light with the world, this is the generosity that you are able to share with the world because I feel like there's this coming out of the shadows and into the light and then bam, <laughs> like, pew, look at that. Like, you know, I just feel like once you actually start to make that move, you're going to bloom. Um, and some of you are actually afraid of that. Um, like you don't want to be seen. We have the lovers here and we have the rebel. Very interesting. The lovers representing Gemini and being an air sign as well. So you may have that in your chart. If so, have a look at the Gemini reading. Um, this could be to do with a relationship and opening up your heart, okay, letting go of the things that you need to let go of in order to be receptive to love coming in, okay. Um, this is quite a significant change in your life. This could also be reflecting on the things that, um, well, kind of being honest with yourself, seeing, really truly looking deep within to and being honest about the things that are holding holding you back and what you do need to let go of, okay? Um, and, and with this, the rebel here, this is about breaking free from these chains, okay? And um, really letting yourself rise up again. The same with the what I was getting with the um, stag spirit, like rising up, okay, stepping into your true power, your authentic self. And, um, you know, it's not about being rebellious per se. It's more about um, being true to who you are. Like actually, um, kind of like doing yourself a bit of a favor, like kind of, you know, by being who you truly are, being generous to yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, 
um, coming from the heart, really opening up your heart. Um, because in, if this is about a relationship that you want to attract or um, want to be in Aquarius, the the best relationship that we will ever ever have or, or can ever have is with ourselves and it doesn't that's not vain and it's not um you know to be up ourselves or anything like that it really is about this self-care and self-nurturing so that when you do bring someone else into your life and some of you may be in relationships um and wanting that to improve and the best way to improve that is to start to improve yourself and actually be the person you would like to be with so start um, working on those traits you know if you want someone to be honest make sure you're um, projecting honesty you know all those traits I mean obviously if you want someone tall and you're short well that's you know <laughs> uh, but you know you know what I'm saying right Aquarius because you've thought about this you've overthought about it and um, you know it's, it applies to anything in your life whether that's a job um, a friendship, your relationship with your family, um, a career, a home, anything, okay? Um, yeah, bluebird spirit happiness. You see Aquarius, oh there's a unicorn back there, check that out. That's cool. But the bird's not seeing that. The thing is that this bird is sitting on this old kind of tree that started to rot. And it's not sitting in the tree that's blooming over here. It's kind of like being focused on something that is no longer serving you and in fact is going to fall away anyway. It's kind of like putting all your energy into something that's no longer worth it. Um, and a matter of kind of like opening up and being receptive to other things coming in, okay, um, and letting go of the things that do not serve you, all right, um, and, and the interesting thing, Aquarius, is I feel like you can feel on a soul level, deep down inside, that, that you know you need to do this, and this is what this reflection and this honesty is about, okay, being true to yourself, and in a sense, if that means letting go of people in your life, although they may not see it this way, that's actually being generous to them to allow them to bloom. Because if if there's, you know, a, um, a dynamic in your life with other people that is not serving you, then potentially it's not serving them either. Okay, so it allows each party to grow, okay? Although they might not see it that way. Um, and it could be that, you know, you've lost someone in your life and you may not see it that way either. Um, but happiness will, will pursue, I feel. Okay. Moment to moment. Yeah. Um, taking things step by step here in order to get to this happiness, right? Um Really, really, oh, this is really interesting actually because I noticed this guy's eyes are closed and I think, oh no, their eyes are open. Their eyes are open but their focus is narrowed. So I feel as though you need to be aware. Hang on, there's something here. What's going on here? What's going on? Blindly, this is walking blinded, um, and so I feel like you're kind of like stumbling, and you're just hoping and praying for the best outcome. Uh, it's kind of like you need to actually take action purposefully. It's kind of like manifesting by default or living by default instead of actually um, taking purposeful action and I feel like if you would put two feet on the ground instead of trying to balance and then hope that when your foot lands you land on the stepping stone if you just take a moment Aquarius 
to actually open your eyes and look around you, you will see that there are other structures, other blocks for you to walk on. There's another path. At the moment, it's as though you can't see any other way forward, but there actually is another path, and it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous, but yeah. Um, and aloneness. This really is about tapping into your internal power here and allowing your guide, uh, your light to guide the way, okay? Drawing on the stag energy, okay, and rising up to be that um, that guiding force, I feel. Very interesting. What have we got next? We've got these spirits at um, Prosperity. You know, like the bees, right? They work hard, man. They are all out there gathering up that nectar, taking it back to the nest to, you know, this is just a constant thing that they do for hours and hours and hours a day. And when they're back at the nest, they're constantly working on doing whatever they do with the honeycombs and whatnot and what have you. And so I feel like there's a ring on here. So, does that mean some of you are looking? There could be a, someone that you would like to propose to, or it could be that you're engaged. Anyway, let's just put that out there and carry on. Okay, um, so I feel like there's work to be done, though. Whatever your situation is, Aquarius, there is work to be done, and the hard work pays off. Okay, the hard work brings prosper prosperity and happiness, okay? And when you have that, you are able to be generous, okay? Stepping into this leadership energy of rising up and really, al really allowing yourself to, to, to be the authentic um, So, sorry, I'm trying to find the word here and all I keep getting is stag, bee, bird. <laughs> so be your authentic stag, bee or bird, right? Just be your authentic self is ultimately what I want to say. Um, yeah. The one thing I do want to say about this is, is, is make sure that you're aware that if there is anyone else involved who needs to do their own internal work, you can't do it for them. They need to carry their own weight, okay? So just be aware of that, okay? And vice versa, no one else can do your work for you. It's not up to them and it also is not their responsibility and it's unfair of us to ask anyone else or expect anyone else to do that for us, okay? So it could be a bit of a messy situation for some of you. Um, too many cards. Sorry. Too many cards here. I thought we only had two and then we had three and then we had four. And I'm like, yeah, no, too many. Okay, one. Oh, almost. What's this one? Abundance. Abundance. Okay, prosperity and abundance. I really love the okay projections. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's have a look here. This is a little bit of a mixed bag. Okay, so it's it's like this is just throwing a spanner in the works man because it's like kind of like do you know Aquarius though this could be about you being in this kind of like dream world as to what direction you want to go in and what you're creating and that you're headed towards this abundant life right you're growing something there's something you are growing And then this comes along and throws a big spanner in the works. It's like, it's like having your bubble burst kind of thing. It could be, though, about choices. 
you could have a lot of choices so many choices in fact that you don't know which one to make so I would say just make a choice like because there's opportunities for you Aquarius and if you spend too long trying to decide and, and mull them over and sit on them you're going to lose the opportunities okay it, or they're going to be less than what they were um a good way of doing that is tossing a coin if you would like oh but what if i do this and then this toss a coin okay so you have choice a and you have choice b get a coin okay heads for a tails for b or whatever you decide okay and toss it in the air while it is in the air, be con completely aware of what it is that you truly want it to land on. because And that will tell you, don't even turn it over, don't even flip it over, just catch it and don't look. And just be fully aware of which side you actually want it to land on and that will give you your answer. And if you have multiple choices, break them up. Do A and B and C and D and E and F, and break it down, then you've got a choice of three, right? And so you do the same. Out of A and B, and A and C, and B and C, do the same. And then when you're left with two, you do A and C, or whatever. You get the picture, right? So yeah, that's just a little bit of a way to work, wade your way through. Okay, Wild Rose Theory love so this could be about love huh i would say whatever you go into though go in wide eyes wide open and um, try not to this is usually something i'd say to pisces but i want to say make sure you have the rose colored glasses off Okay, some of you may not be seeing things quite clearly. Quite clearly, you might not be seeing things clearly. Wild Rose Fairy, tell me more about this love totality. Okay, a little bit of doubt maybe. What else for love for? Aquarius, make it clear and concise. Oh, too many cards again. What have we got here, though? Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to put those back. This is exhaustion and stress. Again, this could, see, this could be you. Yeah, you're in your head, man. You're in your head big, big time. But here we have totality and rebirth. I, I, I'm kind of feeling like some of you aren't quite maybe trusting the situation or trusting yourself. I feel as though you, for some of you, you may have been heartbroken before and you're afraid of the same thing happening and you're not opening your heart up to receive love. Um, there could still be very well be some work to do. Um, maybe even just a little bit for some of you in order for you to let this in to your life okay um you're definitely holding back you are definitely holding back Aquarius and I feel like you're holding back out of fear you're holding back because you don't want a repeat of the past okay um you could also be projecting your fears and your insecurities onto other people people um, which isn't helping the situation to come to fruition frog spirit renewal okay so this i want to tell you the story about this you may already know it about the princess and the golden ball where she is playing with the golden ball and it goes rolling down to a pond this is just my memory of it it might be completely wrong, but this is what I remember. And it rolls down to a pond, and at the pond is a frog. Okay, and the frog, she's like, ugly frog, like slimy, gooey, ugly frog. And the frog's saying to her, I'm actually a prince, but I have a spell 
on me that makes has turned me into a frog. And the dealio is that I need a princess to kiss me in order to me, for me to transform back into the frog. And she doesn't believe him. So, you know, but in this scenario, obviously, it's her touch. So she's like, ew, gross, I don't want to touch a slimy frog. And he's like, please just touch me. So she touches him and poof, he's going to turn into the prince. And they'll live happily ever after, as happens always in fairy tales, which is not always how real life goes, as we know. Anyway, Aquarius, the point is that I feel like this is very, very much something that you are potentially feeling like you're afraid of being seen by the princess because you're afraid that she will judge you or that she'll find out that you're not really a, a prince you're a slimy frog and I don't mean that meanly I mean that metaphorically and whether you're a male or female watching this, you know, role reversal, all that jazz, apply it as it fits, right? But there's something that you're afraid of. There's something you're keeping inside. And if you just let this out, it's good because look at this here, this rebirth, right? This this camel here is like you're holding on to something, man. You're holding on to something. You're suppressing your emotions. You won't let them out because every time you go to let them out, you feel like they're going to come out like a roaring lion. But in fact, if you just let them out, and even if they are a roaring lion, obviously you're choosing the best way to do that, okay? It's going to transform into this beautiful music. The thing is, Aquarius, that by suppressing it, it is not going to happen for you. Okay. Yes, yeah, see? Suppression here. Suppressing. Like, that's not going to help you by keeping it inside. It's not going to allow you to grow. And what's more, you're not even going to be able to put your head up, let alone open your eyes to see the next step to take okay so this is a matter of you allowing yourself to have this renewal in life because if if you've met the one or your person or you know even if it's friends or whatever right if they they are your people they are going to be understanding you just have to be honest you're holding too much a hot inside and you you you're very guarded um, because you're afraid that you'll lose whoever it is that you don't want to lose because you're not bringing your authentic self out um, by being honest about your fears and your insecurities and all that stuff. All that's happening is you're projecting, okay? Um, this here, taking the time to heal, taking that time to rest, okay? Really, really focusing on what it is that you want to build and how it is that you can go... Uh, uh, um, about building that okay again that you know not living by default living purposefully okay we've got enchanted fern grotto refuge yeah see i feel like this is totally your Aquarius. this is this this um pegasus right and and it's like you're like oh it's fine i can rise up i'll just put myself in this ball and i'll rise myself up here but protected and very very guarded yeah, but you can only go so high in that case. The Pegasus is a flying horse. It's a flying horse, right? And this is the Pegasus here, right? It's a flying horse. Now, if it's going to stay in this, this um, globe here, it's never going to be able to reach its, you know, um, um, to reach, reach its potential. It's always going to be limited because, and that's what I feel like you're kind of doing to yourself, right so this is something for you to work on of of really being getting honest with yourself over the next couple of weeks aquarius as to how you're holding yourself back okay and and why you're doing that what you're so afraid of honestly it's it really is about having the courage to be honest with yourself okay there's the cycle here that is ready to be completed so that you can come out of the shadows and bloom like it is you deserve to bloom because Aquarius you can head towards this and this prosperity happiness 
love, right? Having this renewal, you know, this is a chance for you to do this, to come out of being in this refuge, refuge, okay, and complete this cycle, getting all the last piece of the puzzle into place, okay? And when you do, man, you are going to go forward like you would not believe. And, you know, that is... um. That is going to give you the freedom that you deserve. Look at the Pegasus down here. Look, the Pegasus is out of its globe and it's actually freed. And the eagles here are showing the Pegasus. Look, this is how you do it. You fly like this. And I feel as though if this is a love situation, this is the person showing you and, and saying, it's okay, let me show you how. I've got you. I've got you. This could be reversed in the sense that this could be you showing your person how to do this and supporting them. But I do feel more like this is your energy. So we're just going with that, Aquarius. Okay, so healing. Yep, healing allows this heart to open up here. Okay, and it allows you to bring out the authentic... The... It allows you, sorry, let me reword it, it allows you to step in to your authenticity, okay? The no thingness is the everythingness, right? This is what will give us the freedom. This ear that the eagle glides through, this is the no thingness, right? This is what it is all about. I feel like I don't even know. I mean, I know how to explain that, but I'm like, this is something... Go on to YouTube and, and find out, get some meditations to help you get into this space, okay? Aquarius, this will help quiet in your mind, okay, to, to calm those emotions and to really allow this heart to open up, okay? Right, we have Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. This is what you have the ability to head towards, okay? And this... This journey here is going to take you to a place that you not only dreamed of, but didn't actually think existed. And it's going to be your sanctuary. And it is going to be freaking magical, man. Like, literally beyond, um, like, magical. <laughs> I'm trying to get the word back. <laughs> Okay, so give me more for Sanctuary for Aquarius. I really love this, Aquarius. Like, you know, you're rising up here, and here you, this is where you have the potential to end up, right? And wherever you are on that journey, this is something that you, look at this, breakthrough. This is about making this breakthrough so you can actually get here, man. Wow. Consciousness. This is a, a absolutely amazing new beginning for you to um to really own to really own the truth of who you are. Um, and I don't think maybe you've ever done that before. Um, because there's always been this feeling of of needing to hide in the shadows to take a back step to take the back seat and um you know whether that's because you haven't you know this is through generosity and letting other people take the lead or because you've needed to seek refuge because of this guarding of your heart um it, you know regardless of the reason Aquarius you're now ready it's now time okay so really tapping in to this nothingness, this is your job over the next couple of weeks, okay, to really, really, really um, start to be honest with yourself about the projections, you know, and by going into this space here um, is going to allow um, all that ego stuff to drop away, all the chatter to drop away, and for you to allow the consciousness to come through and to help guide you because this allows you to drop from your mind into your heart to let this lead in order for you know this to come through Aquarius. 
hilarious. How exciting, right? And like, look at this. I just still can't get away from the fact that this lady's holding a ring here. So, <laughs> okay, Aquarius. So yeah, uh, exciting. Do it, do it, do it now. <laughs> um, yeah, Aquarius, please um, subscribe. Sorry, I'm lost in this excitement of what's going on for you right now. Subscribe and like and comment and share and all that jazz. Because the whole idea is to help people um, along their journey. So, you know, the more that um, that's shared and um, the more that we can do that for people together. Okay, so yeah, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye bye.